Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this cool saber glow effect inside of After Effects. So this is a clip I'm working with. It's just a shot of this car and I'm kind of panning towards the tire here. So yeah, it's super simple. What I'm going to do is try to track this or not track it, but like mask the tire right here so I can uh, apply the saber effect to it. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So what you want to do is duplicate your clip, hit control D on that and you'll have a new one on top. And then what you wanna do is go up to the uh, this rectangle. It's probably a rectangle for you. It's like the rectangle ellipse tool, but what you wanna do is click the ellipse, or I guess the rectangle tool, but you wanna switch it to the ellipse tool. I mean, I guess it depends on what you're outlining here, but since this is a circle or a wheel, I mean, this is probably easiest as you can see how it creates just a circle mask. So what I'm gonna do is just drag it. And if you hold shift on your keyboard, it makes it like a perfect circle so while holding shift down you can get a better looking circle here and I'm just gonna try to make it something close to the wheel and you can go back to your cursor to move it around and I'm just trying to make a pretty good outline around the, the wheel here or the inner the rim here or whatever um, so that looks pretty good I think I'm gonna stick with this here and what we want to do is hit our track mask by right clicking on our mask layer. And if you don't see it, just hit U on your keyboard or just hit M on your keyboard. I mean, and then right click on it, hit track mask. And then it'll bring up this other like panel right here where you can hit this arrow key, the track selected mask forward, click that. And what it's going to do is just try to track the uh, wheel as best as possible. It may take a while, but I mean, I guess it just depends on how many frames you have in your clip. So. I will catch you guys once it's done rendering. All right, so as you can see down here, it just finished because you can see all these keyframes along your timeline or your clip. And when you play it back, you can see that the mask is tracked onto the wheel or your subject. And in this case, it did a pretty good job. Sometimes you can get super bad results with the uh, auto tracker. And if the auto tracker is not good, then unfortunately you're gonna have to just like manually track it. But in this case, the auto tracker works pretty well. So I didn't have to do anything. Um, also make sure to save your project. <laughs> I accidentally just opened that up, but it's a habit of me just saying control S. So I would recommend doing it right now. Um, but anyways, what I'm going to do is go into the effects and presets and I'm just going to go ahead and type in Saber. And also if you don't have it already installed, I'm pretty sure it's a free plugin, but I'll have it linked down in the description below so you can go ahead and download it and Pretty simple plugin, easy to use, but what you want to do is just drag it onto your mask here and you're going to see that there's this blue line. Um, what you want to do is hit customize core, a little drop down arrow, make that to layer mass. And now you can see that it's on your wheel. Also, you can bring it back down the quarter because you're not going to be uh, tracking anything. So, and then you want to go down to your render settings and make the black to transparent on your composite settings. So now you can actually see the clip underneath it and our like glow right here around the wheel. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. I kind of like how that looks already, but once again, I hit save. But what's, what we want to do is go up to our like presets and we can just mess with anything here. Like there's so many different effects that this has built into it. I really like how the neon looks on the wheel here. I think neon is one of my favorites and then also like fire obviously a cool little fire effect and then like thin is a lot cleaner kind of neon that i like to use and the last one is like portal is pretty cool it's like electric almost so lots of different effects you can use here but what i'm going to do is stick with neon for this tire here and i don't really like the pink here i'm gonna do like maybe red to fit the car here yeah red looks sweet so it's gonna stick with this so now you want to change your start offset or your start size i mean so it should be at 100 just make that all the way down to zero and you should see that it is now like half of your mask or it's not like glowing around the whole uh mask right now which is what you want um so for your mask uh evolution Start a keyframe at your very first frame and then go to the very end of your clip here and just honestly just mess with your uh, 
keyframe here. Just, I don't know, keep dragging it to however, to whatever you want. Uh, I just did like two or something. So when I play that back, you can see it's now tracing the tire, which looks super clean, especially with the uh, neon one. It just gives it a super cool effect. So I really like how that looks. But if you want it to be like, you see how there's a trail here and then you want it to be like less of a trail, what you can do is just go to your end offset right here and bring that down to like 35 or something. Now that you can see the trail is a lot smaller and it's just circling it uh, faster also. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Obviously, like I said earlier, you can change the uh, effects here to something like this. I'm just using electric. Uh, it's just rendering out the uh, effect really quick, but there you go. Super cool electric effect around the tire. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the basics of the Saber effect and you can do a lot more things with this plugin, not just like mass and everything. You can do it to like titles and text and pretty much anything you want. Um, but yeah, this is a super fun way to use it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. And if you already did have the Saber effect and you learned something new with this effect, then I'm glad that this helped you guys. Uh, if it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and that is probably my goal. Uh, I've been trying to get there just with these tutorials. So yeah, a sub would very much be appreciated. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.